Alright, hello, what's up, um, YouTube, Showtime here, and with another NBA talk, we're in a couple months now into, before the NBA season kicks in, so we're still in the off season, uh, still a uh, couple of players are still out there, um, but as of right now, um, the off season we're talking about today is the Sacramento Kings, um, what to say the Sacramento Kings has been like pretty much the low of the low like no one considers them um, pretty much even worthy of mentioning it's like no one really talks about the Sacramento Kings other than the situation between DeMarcus Cousins and George Carroll the head coach so let's just get into it uh, so they made a lot of moves they they traded a lot of people and, and they gained a lot of people too at the same time so uh let's go for let's see they added uh Quincy AC uh a power forward uh from the New York Knicks uh 2 years 2 million not bad this guy is a very hard working dude um he's not afraid to get up in your face because he had a lot of issues with New York with fights going on. Uh, we have James Anderson from the Brooklyn Nets signed to them for two years, 2.3 million. Not bad, good shooting. Very good shooting. We, another good shooting, Marco Bellinari, something that no one's been talking about. Like three years, 19 million, which is a great pickup. This guy could be good coming off the bench. Um, Let's see here. Uh, basically, he's probably gonna come at, uh, off the bench, uh, backing up Ben Malcolmore, um, which is great. Right? Sweet enough. Um, then we have Caron Butler, two years, three million. Uh, this guy's probably gonna back up Rudy Gay. Uh, it's, it's sad that injuries um, has uh, hampered him because this guy was was a Highly playable uh, player on um, NBA champion. I don't know what's what's happened to him. Injuries probably. Um, then we have um, Steph Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors brother, brother Seth Curry, for two years, one point nine million. This guy was playing highly in the in the summer league. Uh, he he's being moved place from place on Golden State to. I believe to Boston to the Miami Heat. So looks like he has a home now. And then we have um, Kustra Kafus, uh, I believe a Russian player, four years, thirty-three million, coming from Memphis Grizzlies. He was a huge backup for Marcus All. Ended up playing a um, a couple of starting. For Marcus as he was injured as well. So, great pickup, great backup for the Marcus Cousins. Very good pickup. Um, we also have um, uh, the draft pick, first round draft pick, um, six pick overall. Uh, Willie Call Sign. Um, good power forward, I would say. Good defensive player, good he has a good upside, so this is a great pickup and and this I guess he's gonna end up being the starting lineup after all. Um the Sacramento Kings gave up um um James Thompson who's been there for a couple years as the starting power forward. So um that is uh that's good for them. And then we have Amar, uh, Amar Caspi, um, a guy who has played very well for the past couple of years in Sacramento. A great pickup from the uh, bench. I don't know how the minutes going to work with Karone uh, Butler being there, so I guess they're going to figure something out. But hey, what the hell? Um, and then. Finally, probably the most controversial about this um, pickup is Rajon Rondo, the formerly 
uh, Boston elite point guard turned bad uh, ego egotistic man um, this guy used to be a favorite player of mine um, I don't know uh, what happened to him. Ever, ever since he went to um, the Dallas Mavericks, he just fell apart. It's like he didn't want to be here. Uh, he butted headed many times with the head coach of the Dallas Mavericks, and practically, I would say he. I think he's probably one of the main reasons of the loss. How uh, Dallas pretty much lost in the playoffs. Well, I don't even, uh, I think the, yeah. Uh, so, pretty much, Sacramento Kings just picked him up. One year, uh, $9.5 million. I guess that sh this could probably be an experiment for them. Uh, see if things could work. Because, I don't know, because you have Darren Collison still under contract with them. At the point, you just you see, I guess they're going to put Rajon Rondo in the par, uh, starting lineup. I'm guessing because of the injuries that Darus, Darren Collison has suffered. So we don't know his condition is. But I don't know what's going to happen. Um, wow. So that's pretty much it. Looking at this season for them... Um, it's pretty much the trust that's going on around here. Um, we have the button heads between DeMarcus Cousins and George Carl. That's pretty much the main thing that's going on right now. Because DeMarcus Cousins is pretty much the franchise player for the Sacramento Kings. And you have uh, pretty much a future Hall of Famer in George Carl, One of the most win head coaches of all time. Uh, took... Um, Took the uh, Denver Nuggets to a 60, um, 60 win season of franchise record. and getting fired right after that. That was stupid. And apparently on uh, George Carroll made comments of him of trading DeMarcus Cousins somewhere else. Mo um, closely to the LA Lakers because the LA Lakers were going after him. And this causes a rift between Demarcus Cousins and George Carl. Now, it needs to be fixed. It definitely needs to be fixed right now. And it's, it's not even more worse because now you have Rajon Rondo who was just headbutting um, Rick, Rick Cowell. No, I don't believe his name is Rick. The head coach of the Dallas Mavericks. Um, you have his ego into the mix. We don't know what's going to happen. It's like pretty much trust issues is going on. Communication issues is pretty much one of the main things that's hurting this team. This team has the making of a great, great squad. You have you have Rudy Gay. They're probably gonna re. I think they re-signed him back. Or I think he opted in or signed an extension contract after looking into that. Um, you have him being a very top high scorer. You have the Marcus Cousins becoming a high scorer. You have the coming in of a Willie Carly Stein defensively, uh, matching up with um, the Marcus Cousins. Great. Um, you have um, a couple of new players. You got Marco Bellinelli coming off the bench. You have uh, Caspi coming off the bench. You have Seth Curry coming off the bench. You have Caron Butler coming off the bench. You have James Anderson coming off the bench. You got a lot. Of, you got a good players. I, I would still say they need a little bit more of um, backup on the uh, front front court side of things. You need some more backup. You need some reserves back there. That can help uh, fill in just in case of injuries because I know uh, Demarcus Cousins can be injury prone. So we'll see. I know uh, Karone Butler is going to be injury prone during this season, so it's going to be left to uh, Caspi. You still we're still trying to figure out the issues between uh, Rajon Rondo and Derek Carson's 
um, starting point guard issues is most likely he's going to be end up being Rajah Rondo becoming pretty much the starting uh, point guard the quarterback of the team I said this would affect re really well uh, good passing great passer but not a good offensive player uh, when it comes to scoring not someone to be relied on but hopefully he could develop more and he could keep his ego in check so they have a solid squad they have um, Kosta, Kostra Kofros backing up DeMarcus Cousins man I just uh, man I just wish I wish they had someone to back up Willie Colley Stein just in case. That's I would say that would have been good if they had uh, Carl Landry. Landry, but of course they traded him. They traded a couple of draft picks, uh, first round draft pick, in Nick Stadikostis, uh, Ray McCollum, all types of players. Derek Williams, former first round draft pick. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, they they have they're on the makings of a great squad. So it's just they need communication um, fixing. They really need to make this communication between Demarcus Cousins, George Carroll, and Roger Rano to actually commit to this team and actually stop putting his ego aside. He is an elite uh, point guard. I don't know why Boston let him go. I understand why Dallas let him go. I, this is his chance to prove himself again because he's pretty much with that playoff uh, disgrace he put up. He needs to uh, make up for it. He truly needs to make up for it uh, if he wants to save his all-star career. So that's it for me. Sacramento Kings coming up next after this is the Trailblazers and then the Milwaukee Bucks who are very interesting believe it or not so Trailblazers next catch you later